Meet the guys from Virginia Tech. This is their first year competing in this highly regarded aerial competition. The project is brand new this year, so you know, everything was, you know, nobody had a clue what we were doing in the beginning. We've been working on this since um, October, last October. Um, and this is our first, we're a first year team. Shane Barnett spent plenty of time hard at work on this unmanned fixed winged airplane. This was a huge learning curve. We've understood, we have to go through helicopter and flight dynamics. Uh, understand how they work and how to control them as well. So that's, uh, I think it's great what we've done in one year, actually less than a year. And now Barnett's ready to see what this baby can do in the air. Professor Robert Mickelson runs this whole show, and he says unmanned flying vehicles like these can be helpful during wartime. You want to get people out of the battlefield. That's uh, a dangerous area to be. If you could fly a vehicle up there and have it go into the cave and provide the same information as to whether there are bad guys in there or whether there's nothing in there, uh, that's a much better way to go. Something the tech guys would agree with. Anything that we can do to help take humans out of the loop, help preserve life, increase intelligence gathering, really enables us to be more effective um, at strategizing and really saving lives. So it's a very important task and we're glad to be part of it. As for Shane Barnett, he's hopeful his team will only improve in years to come. I think there's a lot of great guys on our team and we have a lot of potential. I think we can make this more than what it is now if we have uh, give us another year will impress a lot of people. And possibly soaring to a victory for Virginia Tech one day too. At Fort Benning, Desiree Taylor, News 3, on your side.